When I first got to Concord, I got on my uh, recruiting trip with Coach Street Pride. I walked through the lobby and I, I remember seeing all of these plaques hanging up. I'm like, man, I want to be up there one day. I want to have a, I want to have a plaque up there. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. But you know, thinking back to my, you know, my mind when I was 18 years old, it was for selfish reasons, right? It was for self satisfaction. But as I got a little bit older, I started to realize it's not really about, you know, self fulfilling um, what I do on a, on a day to day basis. It's about the relationships you built. It's about uh, you know leaving a legacy for your family and um, helping 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 honor people that uh, got me here, right? So I want to say thank you to a few people. Uh, I want to say thank you to my beautiful fiance. I didn't meet her until after college, and I tell her all the time she got a white boy. They got a few extra pounds on them. But, uh, you know, um, I am more mature than white boy, so. Um, Thank you to my beautiful fiance. I want to say thank you to my two high school coaches, Wally Vickers and Clint Atkins. You know, Coach McBride talks a lot about leadership and um, how I was able to navigate things as, as a freshman. And really it was because of my high school coaches. I was taught the, the right way to play basketball since I was in third grade, second grade. You know, and these guys really uh, poured into me because they saw something in me in regards to basketball. But more importantly, outside of basketball as well, they saw that I could be a great person. You know, so, they poured into me, so I was able to come in my freshman year and help lead the team. And like Coach McBride said, we had a lot of guys on that team. We had some guys that could, that could really score the ball. And uh, I just wanted to be a guy that could be out there and be trustworthy. Um, I want to say thank you to my brother, two other brothers, Rodeo Boy, James Boy. Uh, like Coach McBride said, th those two uh, went to Concord as well. And uh, they really helped me uh, ease into Concord, you know. There was a lot of things being said about going back and forth about Concord. You know, I'm a city boy, so it's a small town, right? But uh, my brothers helped, you know, build some relationships right when I got on campus. They helped me meet a lot of people. Uh, Coach Cox as well, he helped me live, meet a lot of people um, right, right when I got on campus. So it made it a lot easier adjusting to, to, to college. Um, so thank you to my two other brothers and Coach Cox. Uh, my teammates, I think Taylor's the only one here. Um, they said they were going to be here on you know, you know, Friday night. But uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you my teammates. Like Coach McBride said, I played with 6,000 point scores, so it made it a lot easier coming down, trying to get assists, right? I'm the type of person I would rather get assists than, than score points. And a lot of times I would just come down the court and Taylor would set it down the screen and Aaron Miller or Rob Reed would come off a down screen and they'll be wide open. I pass it to them, they score it, that's an assist for me, right? So I played with a lot of teammates that, that wanted to play the right way. They made it a lot easier for myself. So I want to say thank you to my teammates. Um, and then last but not least, I want to say thank you to my parents, James and uh, Tracy Boyd. You know, um, you know, we have a close-knit family. Uh, my parents came to almost every single game. I could probably count on one hand how many games they missed. And, uh, you know, growing up, that was just the norm for me, my parents being there. And, um, you know, building relationships with some of my teammates and uh, just people in general in life start to realize that that's really not the norm for a lot of people in life. So uh, I think I was, uh, I want to be, be thankful and grateful for my parents uh, being able to be there every step of the way. Every single tournament from high school, elementary school, when we were in Columbus, going to Indianapolis, Orlando, all over the country, they were there every single tournament. So I want to say thank you to my parents. Um, and in the end, you know, I've come to, to understand that, you know, leaving a legacy isn't about getting to the Hall of Fame or, uh, you know, just personal glory. It's about celebrating the relationships, right? It's, it's about celebrating uh, the path that you took to get here. So I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to say thank you to everybody at Concord, all of the coaches, all the faculty, all of the staff, everybody that poured into me here at Concord.